Today, I will show you guys how to boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 4. What you guys want to do first is you want to download the optimization guide in the description. This will have all the tweaks and stuff that you need to boost your FPS. So yeah, you're going to want to open it up and then the first thing it tells you to do is to clean reinstall Windows 10. That means fully resetting Windows 10. It's not required, but it is pretty helpful for reducing input delay and increasing FPS. The next thing you guys want to do is to disable unnecessary services. So first thing you want to do is create a restore point. So just in case you mess up, you can uh, go back and nothing will be wrong anymore. So just press create and yeah. Now the next thing you want to do is uninstall all the apps that you don't need. It will take you to settings and then uninstall every single app that you don't use or don't need. And then go to startup apps and do the same thing. Just disable all the startup apps that you don't need. And then go to auto runs, install it, or press agree. Now this is more of an advanced tool. So if you disable the wrong things, then it could break your PC. So you have to know what you're doing to use this app. It shows a lot of startup apps that don't show up in task manager so you can go in here disable everything that you need to disable and then press the little save and close out. Now the next thing you need to do is disable UAC then restart the PC because the next thing we're going to do is turn off Windows updates and Windows update Windows update Windows update basically Mm. Windows update basically takes up a lot of CPU and RAM usage when it's on, so that's not good when you're playing games, so you want to disable that. Next thing you want to do is disable diagnos diagnostics and telemetry services. Press yes. Actually, if it gives you the error, you want to click, hold it, and drag it into powerrun.exe. And then click run. And you want to do that for all the registry unnecessary service and boom we're done with this section now the next section is fps tweaks you want to go into here now the first thing you want to do is double click on this latency bcd tweaks now you want to double click on this it optimizes every single window setting to increase fps and reduce input delay and then you want to do the same thing for registry tweak then go to disk cleanup and then select the drive you want to clean up and that will clean your c drive it may take a few minutes to do that so yeah then you want to go to mark c's windows 10 mouse fix what this does is it basically force turns off mouse acceleration and it helps with your sensitivity a lot so i really recommend you to do this then go to performance options i recommend you to click adjust for best performance but for me i have everything off except for show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts the next thing you want to do is you want to import adamex's power plan and what this does is adamex's power plan is actually really good for freeing up cpu usage and lowering input delay by a lot then you want to delete all the other power plans because sometimes windows sometimes windows would change the power plan to something else so you don't want that to happen while you're in a game so you should delete all the other power plans next thing you want to do is delete temporary files double click on that and i'll delete all the temporary files and the same thing for log files just double click on it and then it deletes all the log files and temporary files and that really frees up storage and it helps with load times then do the same thing for the windows update cache it'll just delete all the windows update stuff and yeah, that's basically all you need to do for the FPS tweaks. Now, the next thing in the list is registry tweaks. And this mostly lowers input delay. First thing you want to do is to is disable useless activities. Next thing you want to do is all of the important tweaks. Now, it will say Windows protected your PC. It will run just fine. Just press more info and click run anyway. And what this will do is, is it will disable all the power saving features, which is not good when you're when you're gaming so the next thing you want to do is you want to double click each of the registry files individually and this will optimize everything from driver searching file history maintenance power throttling windows telemetry all these things and it, will, it will lower input delay it will maximize fps and all of that stuff i'll just speed up this part
Now that you've done all that, the optional thing is to download Quick CPU, and what that does is it makes your CPU faster and more reliable and stable. Yeah, that's basically all you need to do in the registry tweaks. Now, next up on the optimization guide is the FPS boost applications. Now, basically, it's just two apps that dramatically increase FPS, Park Control and Razor Cortex. Now, Park Control, when installed, you want to enable everything, all four of these things here in the Atomex power plan, and then click apply, and what this will do is it will maximize your CPU so that it'll run efficiently and fast in every single game you play on it, and this will increase FPS by a whole bunch. Now, Razor Cortex, it dramatically increases FPS when you install it, and yeah, that's basically all you need to do in the FPS boost applications. Now, the last thing in the optimization guide is the game user settings tweaks. Game, if you don't play Fortnite, then this does now apply to you. You're basically done with this tutorial, but if you play Fortnite, this is definitely a thing that you need to do. Now, if you have a potato PC, low end PC, or mid range PC, this will help you a lot. Now, it has this game user settings that I and I file in here. Now, what you basically want to do is you want to press the Windows button and R at the same time, and it'll put in this run box. And what you want to do is type in app data. This will go into the app data folder. You want to go to local. You want to go to Fortnite game. Saved config windows client and game user settings will be here as well now what you want to do to this file in the windows client folder is you want to delete this file and you want to drag the new one in the optimization guide into the windows client folder and yeah that's basically it you can launch fortnite and all the tweaks will be enabled including the game user settings tweak so yeah, you're basically done with the tutorial, and I'll show you guys some gameplay after this. And I'll show you guys some gameplay, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And it took me a very long time to research for this optimization guide, so I don't usually ask for likes, but a like would be very much appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.